can do my channel. I am Julia Wei. I am a writer. Today, I would like to talk about my grandmother, Toki Yochi, a writer and journalist, and her short story, The Four Puppets. The Four Puppets included in the folk games from Asia, sponsored by Asia Cultural Center for UNESCO in 1976. It is an original story created by Grandma herself using folk elements and mythical characters that feature in Bali's folk games. It is an original story based on traditional beliefs and mythical characters. My grandmother she also mentioned here that mythical characters that also feature in Buddha stories or Jataka, Buddha Bhak stories. Here, my grandmother's handwriting and her signature, Kim Yochi, 1976, January. The illustrations for my grandmother's short story, The Four Puppets, were drawn by Ubaji. Ubaji was a famous painter and a great artist in Burma. The collection of his writing and the illustrated cartoon drawings were still popular among readers in Burma. Now, I will tell you about the short story, The Four Puppets. The boy in the story decided to seek his fortune in far away land. He carried a strong and long bamboo bow on his shoulder. His mother Fix some foot on one end of the pole and the other end of the pole, the four puppets from his father. Look at the boy. The boy was so happy. He was dancing in the air, forgot to touch the ground. So I now introduce you the four puppets. Here was the god Hamid, symbolizing loving kindness, tranquility, and peace. The next one, the yellow one, is called Devas, symbolizing spiritual and mystical power. God-like characteristics, type of celestial being. The next, a green one, ogre, symbolizing unlimited power, followed by corruption. The last one, Zoji, symbolizing knowledge, and he was so greedy and hungry and thrust for more knowledge and selfishness. During his journey, surprisingly, the four puppets came to life and talked to him. So, they helped him and encouraged him and they became his companions along his journey. The Devas Give advice and warn him from danger. The ogre fought anything for him to get riches and wealth. Soji brought fun and amusement. And Hamid, the last one, taught him the good and the bad.
they were trying to convince him to follow their path, to follow their way. The good or the bad, the dark side or the light side, the angel or the devil. The boy was balancing the two sides. But the decision was up to him, not to the four puppets. They do not bring happiness or good or bad or the devil. The result or the outcome depends on how the boy used them. The story ends happily. This book was translated into Pamis. It was published in 1976, the same year. The stories were translated into Pamis by Mong Jua Wimpi. Mong Jua Wimpi was a Pamis scholar and a great poet and a writer in Amma. I remembered at the time of the two books were published, I was just a child. I was too young to understand English. So I read this book in Pamis instead of the original because it was easy to read, easy to understand, and I do not need a dictionary. So, like the boy in the story, I prefer the easier way rather than the difficult. Thank you for watching this video. See you next time.